everybody, how are you all today? I am Frugal Listed Lupus Sister. I am coming to you all today with something a little bit different than normally I'll be doing the videos about my lupus or just everyday life. But today I will be preparing some food for me and my family. Today I will be air frying Cornish hens. I have two Cornish hens here, and what I'm going to do, I'm going, going to season them. First, I put a little um, oil over them. I'm going to season them very well, and then I will put them in the air fryer, let them cook for however long it needs to be air fried or whatever. Then I will come back and let you all see the finished product. But first, what I will do, um, these are the Cornish hens here. I have two. So what I'm going to do is stuff them with some um, red onions. Just stuff the, uh, the hands with that. Wish I could show you all that, but I'm not that fancy yet to get some cameras that show all of the um, the dynamics or the pictures. Not pictures or videos or whatever thing I'm doing. But I'm just going to talk with you all as I do that. So like I said, I will be stuffing them with um, some red onions, some diced red, red onions. I've already washed and prepped and cleaned my um, hens. So make sure they are nice and clean. And I, right now, like I said, I am stuffing them. But I want to make sure that you all are doing okay. It's been a minute since I had a chance to actually come on and talk with you all with this entire COVID thing. It has been like really, really a bit much um, right now what I'm going to do I am actually getting some minced garlic I picked up I love garlic one thing about me I love me some garlic okay but I am going to get some of this minced garlic and put some inside of the uh, each of the hens but what I'm going to do I'm going to put here this stuff I'm not going to like continue to use my fork to go from the, the hens to my container here nasty cross the camera so I'm gonna make, make sure that I do get enough out I, over here my little cutting board so I can stuff each of these hens so let me do that but I want to know what you all have been up to what's you know do you have any big plans for the holidays if you do celebrate the holidays um if you are well because we have so much that is going on out here with this um, C19 that we really need to take care of ourselves. So what I'm doing now, like I'm saying, I'm going to reach over here and get some of the minced garlic that I had put out so I can put inside of these hens. So that's what I'm doing now. See here? Stuff them with the garlic. Man, I really love garlic. Ugh. Love it. And it's flavor. Garlic and onions. So I'm doing that. And... What I'm going to do, I'll um, make sure they are good and stuff. So you can see, I'm going to show you all what I am doing. I'm just going to mix them around ever, ever so gently on the inside. And I'm going to show you all what I have done. If you can see, here I have, like I say, I stuffed. Let's see, I have stuffed. The hens. And now what I'm going to do is um pour a little of oil and mix the other onions and stuff in there so i'm going to going to um pour a little oil over these hands i'm going to take these gloves off because i don't like to touch other things that i have touched poultry with or any types of meat so i'm gonna take these off be hands. So I am going to get some vegetable oil. You can tell I love Costco and I definitely love BJ. BJ. So I'm going to pour a little bit this little of this over my hands. Then I'm going to get some more gloves and massage and rub in the oil. So I'm going to pour some here. I want you guys to actually see what I am doing. Okay. Look here, I don't know. That's enough for that. So I did that. 
okay? And if you hear something in the background, I am watching or looking at YouTube, I'm listening to Tracy Brown on YouTube as I um, prep and cook. Oh, oh, don't mind that. You see that over there, whoops. Hold up y'all, got to hide some stuff over here. <laughs> My daughter came and put some, some, um, something back there for me. She knows she owes me something. So I'll let me okay, pay up, girl. Okay. But I have my um, pour over. Fix this here. Get it back there. This here, I have, I have to show you my air fryer in a few. This is the best. I'll show you that. But let me go get some more gloves. Be right back. I just um like to try to cook something fairly simple and fast on Sunday because. Sundays, I like to rest and prepare myself for the um, the work week. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use one glove, which is my right hand because I am right-handed. I'm just going to use one glove and I'm going to massage the oil all over the hands here because, you know, I do have, I don't feel like changing that. I have, um, a phone, um, tri another tripod here, but I don't have time to do all of that. So I will show you all what I have done here. I have massaged these birds very well with the oil. See, I've done that very well, very well. Hope you all can see. I'm sorry, y'all. This is, you know. Uh, this is something I don't do all the time. Normally, I might record, I can do like this, but when I'm here trying to cook, I have not got myself acclimated or set up to do records. So, like, I am rubbing oil all over, all over the bird, birds here. And now, what I'm going to do, I am going to use something different. I am going to season them with Obey. Typically, people use Obey for like the seafood, but here you can use it for seafood, poultry, salads, and meats. So I'm gonna use it today for my hens. I have um, chicken season, but I think I am out of it. I'm not sure I need the chicken. I think I am out of chicken season. So today, I'm just gonna give a little flavor and add some Obey and some fine ground black pepper. And I'm just gonna pop it here in the air fryer and we're gonna let it do what it do, okay? But let me, um, gosh, I can't season because I, with my left hand, so I'm not left-handed. So take those gloves off and I'm gonna season this and then this is with the black pepper. I'm not gonna. I'm going to turn them over. Season that side. I actually season the side of it instead of the um, the one's not. And what I'm gonna do now? Put on another glove. I'm gonna tell you when I cook, y'all. I use tons of gloves because I don't like my my hand my hand to be like. <laughs> touching the food and then I know I gotta cook it. I'm, I'm clean, so I keep everything clean, but just the thought of it. So I'm just gonna massage this in very well on both of the hands. Hands look. And see, got an oil seasoned with um, Old Bay seasoning and black pepper. I have them stuffed with minced garlic and diced red onions. 
So what I'm going to do next is get ready to prepare them to put them into my air fryer. And this is the air fryer that I have. I love Instapots. I have an Instapot, but here I found this. This is an Insta Vortex. This is the actual air fryer. Whoops, sorry. This is actually the um, air fryer for the Instapots. And they have the setting of air fryer rolls, bake, pre, well, reheat, temp, and time. So I'm gonna use this to air fry. I'm going to actually may start off on for like 40 minutes with it. And I'm gonna put them in at the same time. And I'm going to start off maybe like 40, 45 minutes. But halfway, I'm going to flip them and cook a little bit more. Then I'm gonna keep an eye on them because I can tell how I would like to have my, um, my hand. So I'm going to do that and let me load that up and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So now I have actually placed them how I want them in the air fryer and I'm going to get ready to turn it on in a minute and put them in. Okay. It's on. I'm going to hit air fryer. My time. I have it at 400 degrees, and what I'm gonna do, hit start, bam! So we're gonna let that do its do. I will check on it in a little bit later. Like I said, I will check on it like halfway, and I will flip it to make sure all sides of the, the hens are cooked and crisp. And then I will come back and let y'all see what's going on with it. Look at there. Zoom in. 